Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this is my team selection for round of 16 of the UEFA Champions League. But before that, we'll take a quick look at how my team performed in match day 6. So in match day 6, I had my captaincy on Vinicius Jr. He delivered with 18 points. He kept a clean sheet, scored a goal and also had 4 ball recovery. So it was great. Then in my other midfielders, I had Kujush, Maharaj and so Bosuzalai who all three of them did gave attacking returns. Kudush was my star performer with 14 with one goal and also an assist and also ball recoveries and also for the player of the match and Maharaj did get 7 points too. So in my attacking department I have uh, Lionel Messi with 5 points. He only got an assist I think and I also had Kylian Mbappe with 13 he scored a goal he could get got an assist on also that goal was from outside the box similarly I had Julian Alvarez with 13 points so I had pretty much everyone delivering in match day 16 and in my defense I had Grimaldo who had who got 12 points Nuno Mendes with 8 and Perisic with 6 only disappointment was Ederson who actually I think didn't play so my Match day 6 total points went to 104, my overall points went to 460 and my overall rank now, right now is pretty good, it's 8122 so that's just over 8k so without further ado we'll take a look at how my team is shaping up for round of 16. So remember for this round of 16 stage we get extra 5 million and also get an wild card and also can take place of a single team to 4 that is I can own 4 players from a single team. So yeah starting with goalkeepers as always I've gone with coach Wa and Foster. Foster of Tottenham. So for that Loris is injured so I think Foster starts versus AC Milan who have been poor. Tottenham themselves have also been poor but at 4.0 million the starting goalkeeper you are getting so I've gone with him. So in the goalkeeping department there are no clear favourites that's why I've gone with Koto who has been decent this season in the Champions League. He did miss match day 3 and match day 4 but in match day 1, 2 and 6 he got good points. In 1 and 2 he got 7 each, in 6 he got 9. So this game is against Liverpool who are poor attacking wise. They haven't scored many goals in the recent weeks in Premier League. So I've gone with him. Then in my defense, I've gone with Mitchell, Grimaldo, Jao Cancelo and Di Lorenzo and also Wendell of Inter Milan. So talking about Jao Cancelo, he did secure his transfer on loan to Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich will be coming up against Paris Saint-Germain who will be without Messi and possibly Mbappe for this clash and that's is an away game for Bayern but in some games for which Ancelo has already played for Bayern he has played in very attacking positions so I definitely want him I don't think he will keep a clean sheet but I think he can get attacking returns here Grimaldo has been the star in defense in the group stage he has got 12 points and match day 6 and 5 in match day 5 so they are coming up again Club Bruch who has whose form has been down since match day 3 they haven't performed that well in their own league too so i think this is a great fixture and Al Alejandro Grimaldo is a very attacking fullback too so i definitely am going with him then same can be said about Mitchell he has been great in the group stages he has been the defender in the group stages for the UEFA Champions League with 7 points in 1 and 2 8 in 3 and 4 and 5 in match day 5 and 9 in match day 6 so that's tremendous returns Bruges has been playing great attacking football their fullbacks are bombing forward all the time so I'm going with him he's only I think priced at 5 no 4.5 million and only selected by 5% of the managers so I definitely like him he will be a great differential in my team and another differential I'm going with is Wendell so he did score in his league in the weekend against I think Sporting I guess I'm not sure but he, he did get uh, some attacking returns so he's also a attacking fullback in match day 3 he got 8 and in uh, uh, all other match days he didn't give that good attacking returns cause Port aren't that good defensively but he's only I think priced at 4.3 million so I've gone decided to go with him and my last defender will be from Napoli who I believe are the best informed team in the Europe right now 
so he has got couple of attacking returns in the champions league already in match day 3 he got got 13 in match day 5 he got 11 he'll be coming up against frankfurt so i definitely back napoli in this match day so i've got decided to go with lorenzo here so i have action packed midfield i've gone with jao mario vinicius junior leroy sani Mahrez and Quasa Chilia. So Jai Mario has been taking penalties for Benfica. He has already got many attacking returns in the group stage and also in the league. He got 10 and 10 in match day 5 and match day 6. He's on pens as I said. He'll be coming up against Bruch who have been, been performing that well. So I definitely back him to get some returns. And then I've gone with Vinicius Junior whose form has not been that great in the La Liga but he has been scoring goals in the Champions League and also scored twice I think in the uh, World Cup final that is club World Cup final so I think he's a man to have in the Champions League he has gone attacking returns in every one of them except match day 4 so I definitely will have him against Liverpool who have been vulnerable recently at the back and I also considered loads of goals then I wanted to go with Mane but he's injured so the other options are Leroy Sane or Gnabry so luckily Bayern Munich are playing first in this match day that is round of 16 so I'll be looking at the lineups and then deciding my move I definitely think it will be between the two Gnabry or Leroy Sane Leroy Sane is my favorite for Bayern Munich as in Champions League he just is of another elk he gets into the zone and also creates loads of chances and get attacking returns so if he starts i definitely will be going with him then i've gone with riaz Mahrez. he has been the star performer for man city after the world cup he has got many attacking returns for me in the fantasy premier league i did own him in double game week 23 right now he scored a goal and also gave an assist and also missed a sitter so i think he has been the best player best outfield player uh even better than Erling Holland, so I definitely will go with him. Then I've gone with Quaracilia, who along with Osiman has been the best player for Napoli. He didn't return in match day 5 and match day 6, but in match day 3 and 4, he got 10 and 13. So, as I said, I believe Napoli are one of the best teams right now in the world, so I definitely want him in my side. Then, in my attacking department, I've gone with Benzema, Holland, and Osiman. So, Osiman, I don't think I need to talk much about him he has been one of the best forwards in the league this season he has got many attacking returns in the Sierra A he didn't play much in the Champions League and hasn't got that many attacking returns as he has got in Sierra A I think he has, hasn't gone to any in the Champions League he, because he did miss the three of his first six match days but I think against Frankfurt he will start he's in rich reign of form and I think he'll get attacking returns then I've gone with Holland as he was substituted midweek that is yesterday against Aston Villa but Pep said that it was just because the game was over he needs to preserve him for the game against Arsenal and also the Champions League fixture against RP Leipzig so RP Leipzig play very attacking brand of football and I believe all in Holland could score loads of goals against them if he's fit then Benzema same can be said about Benzema that we said about Vinicius Jr real madrid didn't look haven't looked great in this first half of the season but that's always the case they just turn up in the champions league as the season progresses they get better and better especially in the champions league so with that vulnerable defense of that liverpool i believe i think we should own Karim Benzema as he's on the pens too and we don't even have that many attacking options in the forward line we could go for the likes of Joao Felix who might start for Chelsea but the likes of Messi Mbappe who is not that fit and also Neymar is fit but the PSG without Messi Verratti and Mbappe isn't that appealing so I think Benzema is the one you you should go for so that leaves 0 0.1 million in the bank so this will be my team so mostly i will go with Michele grimaldo and jock angelo mario uh, juni vinicius junior sony and Mahrez, benzema holland and osimen as my starting 11 uh, and obviously kotwa so do let me know what you guys think of this team in the comment section below and if you have enjoyed watching this video please give a leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and also follow us on instagram at fpl football fanatic where i'll be posting my team just before the deadline so yeah good luck for round of 16 i'll see in the next one